Hi, this is Gary Tilkin, and I'm the president and CEO of Gary Tilkin Consultants, Inc. I'm going to try to help you to utilize videos, tools, and other resources to be able to do your job better, to be more productive. And we're going to start with our first of three main topics, which is marketing. And I want you to follow along with me. First, the sources or the areas to which we want to use our videos could be, one, television and cable. Usually when we use television or cable, the actual company, the television company or station or cable company or station comes over and does professional videos for us. But if we're independent entrepreneurs, we have to be able to do our own. They might not be as professional as a television company or a cable company, but they're going to be so much better that when anybody else can do in the marketplace with a little bit of research. Second, we want to use them for our websites. You might have a blog. You might have your own website. You might be an independent entrepreneur like I am. Or you might be the general manager of an organization. Either way, videos support the user-friendly nature, the ease and seamlessness that we need to be able to navigate our websites. Let's use those as instructional videos. Just make sure they're not too long. And third, something that I hope everyone that's listening to this absolutely internalizes, and that's using videos as attachments to your electronic mail. Now, what I mean by that is someone calls up or emails you and they say, I have an interest in a product or service that you have. You say, great. And you say, you know what? Why don't I do this? Why don't I go over to that product or service, do a little video for you, send it back to you so you can actually see it. And I'll confirm that it has all the wants, needs and motives that you have during our discussion. Does that sound good? Now, how many people do that? Does that differentiate you from everybody else? Well, those are three different ways to use videos from a marketing standpoint. Now let's go to some of the tools that you might need. Now, you're going to get a visual shot of me right now. I'm in my Bulldog t-shirt because I am absolutely a crazy Bulldog fan. I have one English Bulldog and one French Bulldog. Matter of fact, my, my new blog is all about training the puppy, which also can be leveraged by leadership at your organization in training humans. Isn't it funny? How's there? How's there's a real connection because training is really training, but let's talk about the tools. The first tool that we need is what I'm using right here. I'm using a Logitech webcam. It is the most expensive Logitech has to offer. It also has a mic, but as you can see, I'm not using its mic. I'm using a high powered microphone because I want the audio to be crisp. Now, as great as this tool is, this Logitech webcam, it was under $100. And if you catch it on sale, you can get it under $80. That's not a huge investment. Now, let's look at the headset. I'm using a very expensive headset, my choice. It's a few hundred dollars. It's a gamer's headset because I've had good, good luck with it. The sound is crystal clear. I could use it for straight audios. I can hear really great when I'm editing. And that's really what I'm looking for. I've also used wireless headsets that have mics on them so that I can move around the room. Usually when the video camera is set up for a long distance and I'm far away from any microphone. The third mic that I have is I have a microphone that's digital that I put to the side of what I'm doing. And that allows me to interview people and still put them on, on video. Third, is I'm using a capture program. The one that I'm using right now is called Adobe Presenter Video Express. It came with my Adobe Presenter program, which is designed to make e-learning. So this came with that program and I've utilized it and I've learned it. By the way, on any technology, if you really want to learn how to use a program, there is an online source called lynda.com. That's a few dollars a month and it goes through e-learning courses to teach you how to use programs like Adobe. But back to my capture program. You can have any capture program you want. You might be using an iPhone or you might be using your iPad or a tablet or a smartphone. Usually they have downloadable programs that are crazy good, easy to use, easy to follow, easy to edit with, and they're free. At most, it might cost you a couple of dollars total. But think about the use of that great technology to do something most people don't do, which is using videos in your personal marketing program and the editing program. The editing program that I use when I do something on my laptop like I'm doing now is I usually use the Adobe Presenter Video Express. But if I really wanted a professional flair to it, if I really wanted to go over the top, 
I use a program that I've used before called Sony Vegas. It was less than $100. It took a little bit of time to learn, but once I got it, I could do amazing things, and I'm only using 10% of it. Remember, marketing is letting your clients know who you are, what you do, and where to find you when they need you. Let's move on to the next topic. And remember, if you have any questions, just let me know at gary.tilken at garytilken.com.